Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Thursday, August 15, 2013. Well, how hard is it to sell a company? American Safety Insurance is finding out just how hard it is. The deal which would have had its main insurance component be sold separately from its reinsurance unit, which is based in Bermuda, was allegedly agreed to have gone as follows. This was about a month ago. They were going to sell the main insurance company to Fairfax Holdings up in Canada, which owns Odyssey Reinsurance, and they were going to sell the reinsurance component in Bermuda to Tower Insurance Company. Things have unraveled quickly. There was a competing bidder for the main insurance company called Catalina. Catalina is a uh, large financial entity itself. They claim to have put in a higher bid for the main insurance company than did Fairfax. They were squabbling back and forth. Fairfax on its own earlier this week raised its bid to which the American Safety Board had already agreed. Catalina came in today and raised its bid for a second time. They came in with a uh, offer of $30.75 a share and uh, they fired a shot at the ASI shareholders, or I should say their board, by having their CEO write in a letter the American Safety Board willingness to take money from American Safety shareholders and put it in their Fairfax's pockets is shocking to us. Meaning that Catalina was saying that ASI was going to accept a lower Fairfax bid. Now, back in the reinsurance sector, Tower Insurance Company, which was going to purchase American Safety Re, and still may, is having some financial difficulties of its own, apparently. They have delayed the report of their second quarter numbers, and AM Best is indicating that they're probably in line for a rating decrease. So no one quite knows what's going on yet, which can't be a good thing for customers of ASI. The third point, Re uh, IPO went off uh, yesterday, went off at the low end. It came off at $12.50 a share. Uh, third point, we reduced the number of shares just slightly as to what they were going to sell. So the proceeds that were raised came to about $276 million. It's unknown what the net is after investment bankers are paid off. Third point, plans to use uh, its cut of the IPO proceeds for general corporate purposes and to increase its underwriting. The situation in Egypt continues to get worse. Uh, the official death toll now from the uh, the military crackdown on the Muslim Brotherhood demonstrations yesterday is at least 550 dead. The official number of those injured is about 3,600. Uh, world leaders uh, of all shapes and colors uh, urged the Egyptian military to cease and desist. The Muslim Brotherhood announced today that they were going to continue to protest. The uh, A300 plane crash outside of the Birmingham airport yesterday on an uh, aircraft operated by United Parcel Service is uh, still unknown as to what its cause yet is yet. Investigators can't get near the tail section where the black boxes are located because it's still smoldering. A preliminary investigation indicates that the pilot and co-pilot did not convey any distress calls prior to the impact. UPS is in the process of notifying the shippers of all packages that were aboard the flight that are now presumably destroyed. Typhoon Utor, U-T-O-R, continues to batter China right now after passing from uh, the Philippines to Hong Kong. The Chinese have moved about 150,000 people from coastal areas to safer areas inland. A uh, ship sank about uh, 50 miles southwest of Hong Kong. It was a 190-meter-long bulk carrier called the Trans Summer. It went down to 45-foot waves. All of the crew members were saved. Zurich Insurance Group reported a bigger than expected 27% dip in its second quarter profit, uh, weighed by tornado and flood hits. Uh, they still managed to make a net of $789 million for the uh, second quarter, ending on June 30th. They took about $140 million in losses from the European floods and uh, about $52 million from the Oklahoma May tornadoes. And this is a little bit like Chicken Little. But AccuWeather and State College, uh, Pennsylvania, is saying that the very, very worst of the Atlantic hurricane season is going to be upon us next week. Uh, they point to the fact that wind shear 
which can tear hurricanes apart, especially when they're in their embryonic stage, is now just about uh, decreased to the point of non-existence in the Atlantic Basin. And they say that uh, this combined with the potential for more robust tropical waves provides the perfect formation seeds for a hurricane. They say that they're currently tracking just such a wave off the coast of Africa and has a 20% chance of becoming a tropical system in the next five days. The uh, chief meteorologist says, next week looks very promising for development over the eastern Atlantic. Naturally, the rest of the world doesn't want to see a hurricane. For them, of course, it's the highlight of their professional careers. Well, people always watch what Warren Buffett is doing with stock. Uh, Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway sharply reduced its holdings of Kraft Foods and Mondelez during the second quarter. This is a result of uh, an SEC filing that they made that's just been made public. Uh, they cut their uh, shares of Kraft uh, by about 88%. They cut their shares of Mondelez by about 92%. Those two companies were created by a split up of Kraft Foods. What does Mr. Buffett like? Well, he increased his holdings of General Motors by 60%. Uh, he also bought a new stake in Dish Network. Uh, he had not owned stock there before, but he's got about $24 million worth of stock there now. Contrary to other reports, Berkshire has made no changes in uh, three longtime favorites, Coca-Cola, Wells Fargo, and American Express. In the first quarter of the year, they completely eliminated their holdings in General Dynamics and Archer Daniels Midland. And they also picked up six and a half million shares in Chicago Bridge and Iron. People will be scurrying very quickly today to see about those stocks because people follow what Warren Buffett does and for very, very good reason. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.